So here in Tallinn University of Technology, we are developing underwater robot uh, that is meant for penetrating uh, shipwrecks. Uh, because uh, at the moment, archaeologists are using divers mostly to study shipwrecks, but this is actually a very dangerous task. And uh, of course, there are different underwater robots uh, available on the market, but uh, none of these are actually capable of going inside the wrecks because they are very big and they are also quite expensive, so they are not available for archaeologists. So uh, that's why we are developing this uh, low cost, quite simple robot that actually can go inside the wreck, take a video footage of the wreck and come back. So uh, archaeologists don't have to put their uh, divers' uh, life in danger. In the framework of this project, uh, uh, the goal of the UCAT is to have a machine which is capable of penetrating uh, uh, modern wrecks or cavities in uh, archaeological sites. I think uh, the result is a very good one. We have uh, a biomimetic uh, robot uh, with no propellers, so the, we hope that it is uh, better suited for uh, um, uh, sea bottom with muds that we, like, like we can have in the in the in the Baltic Sea, where propellers may move the the mud, uh, uh, producing uh, worse uh, visibility conditions. By using fins, we hope that uh, this problem is partly uh, solved. And uh, I think uh, the robot uh, can reach a maturity of uh, commercial available product in a couple of years. I think.